Okay, today I'm going to be doing an awesome experiment. I'm going to be showing you what would happen if a hole was blown in your spaceship. So I have here a little space guy. He looks familiar, doesn't he? And I'm going to be covering this hole with mylar and that will keep in the vacuum long enough for me to get my entire vacuum chamber down to full vacuum. And I'm going to be setting my guy right next to the hole. So he'll be laying on top like that. And then what will happen is I've designed this to fail right at full vacuum. So this can hold around 14.7 pounds per square inch. And so right when it gets to full vacuum, this mylar will rupture. And so it will be a catastrophic sudden failure, which will simulate what would happen if you were in space and suddenly the wall behind you got blown out. So let's see what would happen. Okay, so first I need to get an airtight seal on here. It's actually not that hard to do because I have a flat surface and duct tape. Okay, spaceman getting a hole blown in his spaceship. Three, two, one. Oh, it's gonna go. Oh, it's gonna pop. I'm so scared. <laughs> go, full vacuum. Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> Holy cow, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Look at how it just came apart. This is Play-Doh. Wow, I did not expect that. Holy cow, that is gruesome. Look, this is just squishy Play-Doh, but it looks like it shattered like it was a solid there. Wow. So part of that is due to him actually hitting an object behind him, but some of it is him actually getting ripped through and squished through the hole there. That was so much cooler than I expected. <laughs> Poor spaceman, didn't make it through that one. <laughs> so in the most recent Star Wars video, I won't give any spoilers away, but there's a certain somebody that gets sucked out of their spaceship into space. And you can compare it to this to think of how realistic that scene actually was. So this is really cool. Look at these fine bits of Play-Doh. So that Play-Doh was traveling very fast when it shot through that hole. So if you've never seen some other videos that I've done where I use a vacuum cannon, this is essentially the same thing going on here. The limits of the air rushing in here are about as fast as the kinetic energy of the air. So in regular pressure, the speed of air rushing through a pipe or something is limited by the speed of sound. It's called choked flow. But in this case, the pressure wave coming through is in shock condition, so it can travel faster than the speed of sound because there's no pressure in front of it. And so basically it's just limited to the kinetic energy of the air coming in. That doesn't mean our guy was moving at that speed, but it means that the air rushing in was moving at that speed initially. Okay, now that we've seen what would happen if a huge hole were blown in your spaceship, let's see now what would happen if a tiny hole was blown in your spaceship and you tried to plug it up with different things. So we'll try a soda can and then finally an orange. Let's see what happens with both of these. 
Okay, with the right side up like this, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna turn into a soda can rocket. Okay, three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna go. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> So essentially it just became a rocket because it was about the same size as the hole. As soon as it ruptures, it has the force of the atmosphere on this side, but nothing on this side. And so it just shoots it out of there like a cannon. Okay, put the orange on. Let's turn on the vacuum pump. Three, two, one. Okay, we're at half an atmosphere. Oh no. Whoa. So that orange came speeding out of there. First of all, it got compressed through the smaller hole and then it got accelerated to a really fast speed because the pressure on this side was greater than the pressure on the inside and so it just rocketed it into the vacuum chamber. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, let me know in the comments section. I try to get to all the meaningful questions. And if you have any suggestions for anything you wanna see me try in the future, let me know also.